Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, make a sector here. And what you do is you start with building a brush. And what a sector is going to do is it's going to control. It's going. It's only going to render what is within the sector. Anything beyond a sector will not be rendered. So if you want, if you want the scene to be properly rendered, you got to capture. Um, you have to capture right up to the edges. If you put if you put a sector like right here, um, it's not going to render the floor. So you got to be able to capture the whole brush, or you're going to have a problem. So now I got to make sure it's that this uh, goes all the way up to the top, and you got to make sure that it's it goes it goes beyond. It has to go beyond. So like right at, right up to that edge, so that it'll capture, it'll render properly what is within the scene, what is within that sector. And it's good for uh, uh, more sectors actually uh, reduce export payload. So if you're if you're building a large complex map, the more sectors you have, um, the more the exporter will uh, uh, divide the work up into each sector so that that actually reduces uh, the amount of work that uh, your processor has to do and uh, it also uh, reduces the amount of bugs that are caused within the game without uh, the, the graphical bugs so to finalize this uh, brush right now it's still a brush so I'm going to turn it into a sector by right clicking and then choosing sector on the list um, we could we could go as far as to divide this up into a couple couple of parts here. Um, I could uh, go as far as to create a couple of sectors actually. And when you're making multiple sectors, you have to make absolutely sure that these sectors are properly connecting. Make absolutely sure that they're connecting. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem with rendering. Oh yeah, um, looks like uh, when I focus in here, uh, yeah, we're going to have a problem with a wall already here. Let's uh, make sure that that is rendering. Okay. Let's make sure that's uh, completely grabbing that brush right up to the edge. So now I just uh, created another sector, which let's uh, let's uh, press L here and make sure that yeah, okay. So so when I focus out with the insert key, I can see I have two sectors now. One sector is uh, going to deal with the house. The other sector is dealing with the rest of the stuff. Deal with the house and the shed. You can also divide that even more if you wanted to. It's a uh, sectoring is uh, is an art in itself, really. So if you're uh, you're going to sector, you control what's being rendered. Um, so you also got to be very careful because bad sectoring could lead to problems like you don't want a sector to overlap. You don't want sectors to overlap with other sectors. This causes a problem. You want to make sure that they come right up to the edge. You want to make sure that they they connect properly and are controlling what is rendered properly. So now we just created three separate sectors. for our map. That should reduce our payload for exporting. So now I'm going to I'm going to hide these now. I don't want to see them. I'm um, also I'm actually I also want to hide the blocks too because I already covered that. So now I got a nice clean looking development um, area here so it's all nice and clean. So now um, we could just uh, save and export um, what we've made so far. 
All right, so I might as well uh, start a new map immediately. Um, I'll uh, I'll export this first off. Export this map. There we go, got those three sectors done. I'm going to close out and let's start a new map. And what I'm going to do with this new map here is I'm just going to make an equivalent of an interior and I'm just going to uh, hollow this out for simplicity purposes. <coughs> All right, so um, might as well have a proper t um, some some sort of interior kind of wood maybe. Um, hmm. What do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Um, I'm just gonna have it be brick or something, and I'm gonna make one. Since this is all interior, I'm gonna make one little light here have a light. Um, I'm also going to focus in here and I'm going to create player start zero since that's the initial every map should have a player start zero. Oh, I need to switch to top view. Oh, I wasn't in top view this whole time. Meow. Okay. So I'm going to go to front view so to make sure that it's lined to the ground. And I'm going to create Four players starts here, and I'm going to select this floor. I'm going to right-click on this floor and make sure that it's walkable. So I'm going to set the walkable. And now I'm going to create a door at which I will represent as our our entrance or exit and I'm pro probably best to use the same one that we used on the exterior to be consistent so what was that that was uh, that was this door here that we used so I might as well set that up on the side and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the CSG subtract so I can integrate it in there. So now we got the door here. Let's uh, fix up its alignment a bit. There. Yeah, it should be good enough. And now I'm going to make this a, a click exit. So I need to first select it, make it a template brush, press N, add a tracker thing to it. Do, 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 do. Tracker thing, tracker thing, add a tracker thing, apply. Um, apply override. I pick a script, so the script that I need to assign will be a click exit, click exit. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to press Shift C. Okay, so this value by default is set to zero. I'm not going to touch this because uh, it's already it's going to be assigned to to um, our player start zero anyway, so no big deal. Now I'm going to make a big sector for this. Make sure it goes up. I'm going to right click, choose sector, sector. There we go. Now we have a sector for it. Floor should be walkable. We have a light. Um, we could add some props to pretty it up. Let's uh, let's do that. Um, do 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 do. I'm going to add some kind of prop, um, maybe a table or something. Let's go into Dark Ages, and I'm going to look in props. Um, maybe some Orsi props. Orsi cube. 
could add an RC cube. I'll put it off in the corner. And let's also create maybe a tapestry. We can also we can we can set its alignment just like uh, any other object. Um, I think we need to set this to 180 so it's facing out. So when we have tapestry here, I'm going to create a copy of this tapestry. <coughs> that should face out just right. I'm going to move that over just a little bit more.